back to another learning experience and video of UGTV and UG Academy and uh, today we are going to continue with our studies and syllabus of new syllabus mathematics of algebraic and linear expression and fractional coefficient now mathematics as a subject can come across as a daunting subject for a lot of guys like myself and a lot of students and it can become too mundane and too f at, at, at a very fast pace and students can become really really uh, lethargic and lazy and <laughs> fearful of this subject by seeing all the numbers and different equations and they can ask this very question that you know as we move up to the grades of 6th, 7th, 8th and as we move to different classes and as we move up different grades of levels why do we have to uh, you know study alphabets with mathematics and why do they start including English and different signs in mathematics I mean mathematics used to be so simple without all those alphabets and with all those technical terms and signs it, it used to be about numbers but why did they convert the numbers into variables and then all those different signs and symbols that uh, we come across as we continue to study the subject at different uh, stages and it becomes really confusing and really torturesome for some students I, I mean not all five fingers are the same some students really enjoy it but I'm talking about myself it's I, it, I had this question when I started studying you know mathematics and I uh, asked myself not the teachers but I asked myself this question I mean, why why do they have to why did they have to I had to you know add all these alphabets in in the terms and I used to when I whenever I used to get stuck at a question with alphabets with numbers I used to really you know not in a very in, not in a very nice way and nice words uh, used to respect the question but at least uh, now I've learned to respect the question and the, the the questions that we're going to attempt today I will try my best to att attempt them right and hopefully I will attempt them right and the, because it's a studying and experience for you guys as well so we will uh, solve it together and if I do end up making any mistake do forgive me and do correct me in the comment section because uh, mathematics is not my strong fort uh, as well and uh, seeing the questions on the paper uh, simplification of linear expression with fractional coefficient I'm really daunted myself so uh, without the fear of uh, getting it wrong and without the fear of failing let's move on towards our question and hopefully we will be able to get past and get through uh, these questions without much hesitation and without much uh, much uh, uh, problem <clears throat> So in linear expression, for instance, uh, we're going to study the we're going to study the topics of linear uh, expressions and with fractional coefficients. So for instance, in the linear expression, one over two x plus three over four y. One over two and three over four will be considered as fractional coefficients uh, of the variables x and y, respectively and x minus 3 over 2 and 2x minus 5 over 3 which are two terms uh, they can also be written as 1 over 2 parentheses uh, open brackets x minus 3 bracket close and uh, uh, 1 over 3 parentheses open 2x minus 5 bracket close uh, this is uh, both of these terms I have written they've, they, they have been written as they have taken out the common factor of 1 over 2 and 1 over 3 out of the parentheses and written the uh, the linear equations in the parentheses later on so it's 1 over 2 into x minus 3 and 1 over 3 into x minus 5 2 x minus 5 uh, and they've you know simplified it expand and or simplify each of the following expression uh, interesting so whenever you see this kind of question it is always good to uh, put all the x values uh, together and then put all the y's y values together so we're going to expand or simplify these uh, questions let's see let's put all the uh, x values together and then we will put all the y values together 
uh, okay and then we will put all the y values together 1 over 9 y plus 11 over 3 y it's a scary subject man ah so we'll take the uh, lcm of 2 and 8 i suppose uh, let's do the work here 2 1 4 2 1 2 2 into 2 is equal to 4 into 2 is equal to 8 so 8 would be here 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4 4 into 1 is equal to x 4x minus x and then we are going to minus it take the LCM again okay. the common factor that is 9 3 3 3 3 uh, sorry 1 and then 3 1 1 uh, we've, 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 we've learned to take the LCM and HCF in my previous videos. In our previous videos of AG Academy, if, if you do not know what we're doing here, do check and do see the uh, the videos that we've uh, studied before. Uh, so we've taken the common factor here as 9, 3 into 3 is equal to 9. 9 divided by 9 is equal to 1 into y is equal to y. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. 3 into 11 is 33. I, I think I'm doing it right. Yeah, I'm doing it right. 8 divided by 4, 4x, yeah, 9, 1, 1, y, and plus 9 divided by, by 3 is equal to uh, 3, and 3 into 11 is 33y. And we will simplify it. We know that 4x into, with the same variable, the, the numbers with the same variables, we do the simple addition and subtraction. So 4x minus x is equal to 3x over 8, and uh, minus that would be minus add parentheses 2y over 9 and uh, we know that if you multiply minus into minus would be positive sign that would be 2y over 9 so these are two uh the we have simplified it and uh, I hope I've done it right because as I told you this is not my strong force so if I did make any mistake here do let me know in the comment section uh, now moving on to the question 3 I think it's the, the B part it's more about expanding the terminology or expanding the ter terms that we are going to write so 2 over 3 okay let's see let's write this 2 over 3 and it's better to solve the equation which is in the parentheses first so we'll write this here and then we'll you know multiply this whole thing with this whole thing the first value with the first value first value with the second value then second value with the first value so this is how you go 2x into x is 2x square then 2x into 6y is equal to minus 12 xy and minus 5 into x is equal to Minus 5 into x is equal to negative 5x and uh, negative 5 into 6 is equal to going to be positive 30y. And you, uh, you know, you can't simplify it further. So I suppose you just, uh, you know, give 3 is the denominator. And for the numerator, you just uh, multiply the two with the above given uh, statement or the above given equation, which would be 4x square minus 2 into 12 is equal to 24xy minus 2 into 5 would be 10x uh, plus 2 into 30 would be 60y. So let's see if we can, uh, you know, simplify it further. I don't think this, even if we simplify it further, we'll have, we'll have this equation at the end of the day. We will take 2 out of 3 as a common factor and write this equation in the, in the parentheses. So I think this is the best way to simplify it and uh, uh, hopefully we've solved this question. Uh, try to, I, I'm not sure if I've done it right. I might have done it. I might have done it wrong. So if you if you think there's a better way to attempt this question, do let us know in the comment section. 
uh but i think and i believe i've done it right hopefully um hopefully uh so if let's see if any of the numbers are divisible by three uh, if we even if we separate these terms separately we should be able to be right to be 4x uh, over 3 minus 24xy over 3 minus 10x over 3 plus 60y over 3 simplifying it further we know that 3 this would be 8 3 uh, can't do this this would be 30 and then it would be 4x square over 3 and then this would be 8xy this would be 10 uh, over 3 10x over 3 and this would be plus 30y this is i think is the is the best possible the best simplification for the question uh so this is the simplification and uh, expansion of uh, the linear expression and these are all these are the kind of questions that you can get uh so if you do come across these kind of questions try to attempt uh, the equations within the parentheses first that's the first rule and then move on to the next statement solve the given equation in the parentheses first and then move on to the next step try to divide your questions into different steps and uh, do it properly do not forget the equals sign if you're confused do the rough working like this in the rough side of the of the of the question paper rough working side do make a rough working side in a mathematics uh, any mathematics questions or examination it's important to have a rough working draft site at which will help you make uh, or attempt your question easier and take the confusion away uh, so these are the next two questions part a and b i'm gonna st stick the camera here for a, for a little bit and this is you know the practice questions for you so you can attempt it at home and let me know that what we've studied so far is making sense to you and then you're actually practicing uh, it uh, at home and understanding the concept and if you're confused about anything if you have any questions do reach out to us at our facebook page at www.facebook.com slash cg academy one and we will be more than happy to assist you with your uh, subject and with your studies and do reach out to us and take best care of yourself we'll see you guys in the next video uh, have a great day have a great blasting day i hope you you know ace all your subjects with the right mind and with the right concept i'll see you guys in the next video